back to Spirit of the Outdoors. Today I've got a box here from Ode Pro Outdoor Products. Uh, they contacted me by email, a lady named Cindy did, and uh, wanted me to review a product. Um, I'm not big on reviewing products. I'm not big on free stuff just to make a video about it. Uh, so I have already opened this up because I wanted to see what was what before I got into it. So what this is, is a predator hunting light. Um, and it is a very nice light. Um, so I, I'm going to open this up, do the unboxing. Uh, I have took a sneak peek at it, but it, it's, they sent it to me well packaged. Um, it's in bubble wrap, but it's in a case. Um, so you see that I have my guns out here so that we can look at how this mounts. Um, I'm going to move the camera, bring it down here where you ain't looking at my face, and we're going to show you what this is. Okay, in this box, you've got your light. And it's packaged. All this is in foam, a good locking case, y'all. You see, and everything is packaged in there where it is not falling out. It has filters. Uh, so first order of business is let's get the batteries in there. Now it adjusts by twisting this and you see how it draws in and extends out. That adjusts the beam. So let's put a battery in it. It comes with, with uh, the batteries. The two, there's, there's two batteries. You have a backup battery. So if you're hunting for extended hours at night and your battery dies, I don't remember which way that goes in there. I put it in there one day. I think I put it in backwards. Yeah, I did. I put it in backwards. It has a rubber O-ring seals that really good um but now you're looking at the size of this light is not very big uh the button is on the back and it has a good this is the red filter now there is filters right here you've got a it says please remove the battery before installing the led modules these are called modules. This is infrared. Now, I'm not sure how that is going to work. I don't have a scope or whatever capable of seeing infrared that I know of. We'll see what it looks like through a regular scope. It's got a white. It's got green. And obviously, we've got red in there. Um, you've got mounting hardware here for Picatinny rail. Um, also to go on a scope mount. So I have got, and obviously it sends you a charger to charge the two individual batteries, plugs into a 110 wall outlet. Um, but they were kind enough to send this, chose my channel, pick, you know, for me to look. This is just to mount on top of the scope. So you see that I have my AR-15 sitting right here. This is not my weapon of choice for night hunting, for, for varmints. Partly because even that little 22 bullet is moving very fast. If without, I'm shooting a, I think I am shooting a, yeah, I'm shooting a plastic tip, what I call it. It's a ballistic tip bullet. I think those are Hornady Amax. It's all hand loaded ammo. My weapon of choice is this 17 HMR. This is a Savage. Uh, this this gun right here has put more meat on the table than any weapon I own because I toted it extensively on a trap line and I could shoot bobcats, coyotes, coons, squirrels, deer. This gun has taken several deer. I wouldn't just sit here and encourage everybody to go to shooting deer with a 17 HMR. But with this little CCI plastic tip bullet, it will do the job. 
But the thing I like about it is it don't destroy a hide. If I'm going to shoot coyotes, I want to skin them. If I'm going to shoot any other predators, I'm going to skin them. So what I wanted to do was, is I wanted to take this and uh, let me move this out of the way and show you how I'm going to mount this on my scope right here. So this very handy unscrews. Oh. Uh, clamp that down and I am probably going to use the red light but we'll take this out tonight I'm going to take y'all on a predator hunting and the reason I took this product is because I I have wanted to get back to some predator hunting uh, I have not trapped a whole lot and part of my reason is there's been some dogs that when I would trap something and get it in a trap they would kill it so that you can just turn on and shine. This is a light that you can squeeze the button right here and I can run that down and stick it right here in my hand guard. And you can control that light with this. I'm not gonna personally mess with this today, uh, but very handy if you're wanting to just turn that on and off by your hand uh, it depends a lot on how serious you are about predator hunting um and i'm i'm a fan of this green module um the module goes into the front and while we're doing it we're going i've got that mounted but i'm going to go ahead and take it back off and we're going to look at at uh it changing that module it said to please remove the battery so we're gonna do that y'all know i like to do things my own kind of way oh uh, but i'm gonna take the battery out and we're gonna look at how to change this module i think this is gonna be a very handy light let's see did they send something to put that back into Let's put the green in there. I am a fan of the green. Ah, okay. Took me a second to figure this out. Okay, so when you go to change this module, twist this all the way in, and it will expose that. You see how that, when you turn this, how that comes out? Now then, you're able to unscrew this. I was hard-headed trying to figure it out, and they sent instructions right here, tells you plainly how to do it, okay? Y'all know me, I don't read the instructions good. But that is the red. The only thing is there's not a labeled red, but I mean, obviously you're not, you're gonna have one in this, so you don't really need but three of them anyway. All right, put that back in. Screw the the lens back over it. And then there you can screw. Let's put the now the the you're gonna see a spring in there. Usually the flat end of a battery goes on that spring. This one, this pointed uh, what's usually the positive end, it is the positive end, goes down on the spring on this particular instance because it has this thing here. Uh, let's, while we demonstrate and let's put this on there to, uh, just to see how that works. Cause you have two different ends. One of them, I am a fan of just turn the button on and shine around with the light. I, you know, that's just my way that I, I, I like. So, all right. And see when you let off that. So I'm, what I'm doing is, now this is supposed to shine 
for a very long ways. So I don't know if I want to just put that in there. Oh, it's got Velcro and some sticky tape on there where you can mount this anywhere on your gun that you want. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just put the button on there because that is my personal way of preferring this. That's the way I like to, to roll with it. So Th this is going to be very cool. Now we're going to take it tonight. Brody is itching to go. He said he was going with us and go see if we can see a coyote or a fox or and the beauty of this the reason i'm taking the 17 hmr is i already know i have an abundance of skunks and we might get to shoot a skunk i know they're everywhere we're not overrun at the moment with coats and stuff and foxes so i haven't just shot a bunch of that stuff so I'm not really going tonight to try to see what all I can kill, uh, which would be the mentality of most people. We're going to go and just see how well this light works. We're going to take a predator call with us and uh, go on the buggy and probably probably just set up in the uh, back of the buggy and prop, where I can prop across the cab. I don't have a bipod on this. A uh, rifle here, but I I don't really need one. I'll take something to throw up there to to lay the gun on the prop if I need to. I'm not gonna be trying to shoot 500 yards. From my understanding, this thing here, I don't know where it was where I read this at, is supposed to shine like s several hundred yards. It tells you all the operations of this. Uh, right here, the white light beam distance, 400 yards. Run time on the white light is up to 1.63 hours. The red should run 3.3 hours, and it will shine out to 375 yards. The green, which is what we went ahead and put in there, is supposed to shine 4.1 hours of runtime and shine out to 452 yards. Uh, and then the IR says two hours, which is the infrared. Uh, I'll have to do some research on this infrared. I'd, I'm not sure what it takes to, to see it. Uh, and we may wind up, if it takes night vision scope, I do have a friend that has night vision high dollar optics that we can uh if we so choose to want to go that route and experiment and play with that we can um now this light it came with a lanyard i don't usually add all that stuff uh you can take this little piece of a lanyard and run it right through there i don't want that because this this you put the white in there now y'all this is just a regular old flashlight uh let's do that right quick just to show you I mean, you can just use this for your personal everyday flashlight. You got white beam right here. I'm going to put the green back in there, so. Oh. We'll look at all this tonight. We'll swap all of this stuff out in the dark out there and uh, and let you see which beam shines where, and we're going to look at all of it because we are just more or less reviewing the product. So be careful of that. This is like an aluminum body on this light. It is not uh, plastic. That is aluminum construction. I'm going to be honest with y'all now. It seems very well made. Um, I think retail, they, they are about a hundred and something dollars. I had pulled them up before I agreed to buy, to do this. And uh, so you got to, oh, it's got two settings. Oh, three settings. Strobe. So you've got several different functions right there. You got dim, hit it again, you got bright, 
and then you got really bright. And see, you can adjust that beam down to, to a big old flood like you can see. So this is going to be a handy just handheld flashlight. And uh, and then, obviously, you've got strobe. You get an emergency and you need that. So not only is this a predator hunting light, it is a multifunction light. Different filters and all in it. So I'm I'm I'm, I'm excited about it. So we're going to put the uh, green back in there and take it tonight, and we're going to see what we can do with it. Y'all hear Brody beating on the door. Son, open the door. I shut the door. He don't know how to operate the door knob, I don't think. <laughs> he got it open. All right. Well, where's your gun at? He's lost his gun holster. Bring your gun holster here. Just bring it here anyway. I want to show these people. Okay. He's got his holster on that Ryan sent him. And, uh. I want to, I want to show the guy my new knife. Your new knife? Oh, Lord. You're going to get Daddy in trouble is what you're fixing to do. Come around over here. Let, let me let me move. You, it's going to look like he's in front of a gun, but he's not. That gun is over there. All right. Now, now hold, look. You can look at the screen. Now, he's, he's, he's getting me in trouble That's right now. Me. Brody. What are you doing? I showed him on me now. Yeah. He's got a pocket knife. It's a Barlow pocket knife, and the reason that he has it, honest to God, y'all, you can't open it. It'll tear your fingernails off. I can get it open. He can't open it, so uh, he's got his own pocket knife. I'm sure there's somebody out there that's going to really be proud of me for that, but he cannot open the pocket knife. But he is a mite proud of it. Where's your, where's your gun holster now? I'm finna get you down. Let me put this thing back on there before I forget I'll, what goes which I'll, way on him. I'll kick that down. I don't right. want to kick that down. Okay. Y'all hang with us. We fix to go do some shining this light when it gets dark and see what all it does. Side, we need to go ahead. We fix to go down there. It's finally dark. I'm going to go ahead and mount this on the gun so that I ain't fumbling with everything in the dark. Um, I did want to mention, and I failed to mention this earlier. If, if you are interested in this, in my link to this company, they will be a... Uh, there'll be a discount code. I can't talk and do something. Y'all know this. Oh, uh, so. Okay, y'all. You're looking right there about 300 yards. That green is when it comes down and starts touching the horizon. That is across a pasture as it curves over the hill. Now you can dial this light. That is like floodlight. Now you can see my barrel in there or the shadow of my barrel. There's my barrel over here. Uh, so, I mean, legitimately, you can really see what's out there. If there's eyes out there, you definitely going to see them. And, uh, I don't have any way, but this thing is really lined up with my scope. When I look down, like right there, my crosshairs is dead center of that green spot. So everything seems, I mean, it's lined up and I'm just going to shine it around. There is some trees and I've got to shine the light and the camera. Oh, let me zoom in out. Those trees are about 200 and something yards right there. I'm zoomed in on them. Uh, so 
So these, these critters under there, you're going to see them with this light. Uh, so I'm not sure what's out here. I'm on the back side of my place. It's an oak area. Uh, I don't really have anything. All of this is like right across the fence on my neighbor's property. All of that is like broom sage. You see that? Let me let me let me uh, enlarge it where you can see. And see, as we look across here, that is ticket. You're not gonna see no whole lot in there. And I'm having a hard time keeping everything together. So what I'm gonna do is uh. We're gonna hit this rabbit squaller a time or two. See if we get any response from anything. More than likely, I'm probably not gonna see anything because I drove back here on my buggy. Uh, and I'm gonna tell you now, I hadn't done no heap of this predator hunting. So I am no expert on it by any means. I was hoping I would see like some skunks, maybe coon, I don't know, just something with an eye. I would care if we saw a deer. I'm not interested in shooting at one, but it would let us know, you know, how far you can see. Uh, I brought a range finder with me, and but I don't think there's any way that I can tell you like right in, right there I see a there's a fence way, 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 way down there. And I have a general idea how far it is. But I, I'm going to have to turn. I got, I got my Dan Forrest headlight on, too, so. It says 204 yards down there. All right. I have got the red light in now. You see it? That is, you're looking at about 200 yards. Right there, we're zoomed in on it. So that red is bright. And you can see through your scope really good. I wish I had a way of showing y'all through my scope, but it's it's too much of an ordeal. I try to do it during hunting season in the daylight hours, and I can't pull it off. Not quality, anyway. And I know y'all, I am not getting real good footage. I'm going to look at those trees right over there. Um, this is with a red light. And they're at about 170-something yards. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the adjust on them while... So it is not as bright, which is the purpose as far as I'm concerned. Uh, when you're predator hunting, you're really just trying to make the eyes glow and then you look through your scope to see what you're trying to see. Now, I'm no expert predator hunter. So let's put the white one in. I want to show y'all this light and what it does. And uh, we'll try not to make this a really long, crappy video out of it. Uh, but I wanted you to see what this light would do. We're going to do some predator hunting when I get set up that I know we can can see something. Y'all, there is the white light. 
Oh, uh, it is not like a Cubane. But it is a decent flashlight. Uh, <coughs> now, I don't know how long these batteries are going to last. How long? I've got an extra battery. They were both pre charged. I did not charge them. So. Um, but now I could see through my scope really good with it. All right, y'all, I come out here playing with the white. This is my headlight, my uh, Dan Force. So I'm going to dial it down to a square. And that's about, I guess that's about as little as it's going to get. Yeah, about right in there. All right, we're going to turn this up. The Dan Force light is on the left, and uh, we got this light on the right. Now, you see that? It ain't quite as bright, but you cut it off and back on, you got a brighter setting. Now look at that. But that ain't it. Turn it off, turn it back on. Now look at that. Now that joker right there, y'all, you can shine somewhere, let me tell you, friend. Let me walk right down here. We right behind the house. I'll be honest with y'all, I was down there filming while we was hunting, and... I got back to the house and realized, you know what? I never changed the settings on it. I only hit it one time. Let's go down here. I saw a rabbit when I was coming up, sitting down here eating in my garden. He was. Now, he probably done gone. Yeah, he done a little shook. Oh, anyway, I can see... I can see about 150 yards across over into them trees. Y'all, you can, you can just flat shine something with this thing. I'm gonna cut my damn forest light off. Ooh, that thing, boy, that'll give you that epilepsy. Oh, see what happens when we start dialing out like that. Man, y'all. You take that light wretch under and see forevermore what you doing with this thing. I ain't got no zoom in at all. I mean, you just look at what all you can see here. That joker makes it bright as daylight. Now, I'm telling you, Ham. And that beam right yonder, you can see the tops of them trees way over yonder. That's a good 250 yards over the, the feathers trees back there. Not this tree right here, but them right up yonder. About 250 yards, and you can see them good. Y'all, we're going to get on the buggy and we're going to ride around just a minute. I would like to at least see a rabbit or coon or something with an eye so we could see the reflection of this light. Uh, I did see some spider eyes, but, you know, <laughs> let's ride around and look, see what we can come up with, though, here before we end this video on a good note. All right, y'all, I got you something right there. You see that skunk? He is ski daddling. I 
I doubt I'm going to even get a shot at it if he's going behind that brush pile. He might come out on the other side of it. I don't know. I was riding down through here and spotted him. But he's got leaving on his mind, boy. But we did see something. And I could see his eyes. I don't know if it showed up on camera or not is my problem. But boy, he wasn't sticking around, was he? As far as I can tell so far, y'all, I like the red light. Oh, there's that skunk. He come back out right there. center of the light. Right, there you go. See him right there? I hate to just shoot him. This, this camera I got is struggling to focus on this light. But we are predator hunting, y'all. Let's see if we can get him. Might as well. Folded him right up. This 17 HMR is a bad little dude, y'all. So we can cut the light off. That is a bad little round, y'all. Don't let nobody ever tell you that that little bitty bullet right there ain't bad news. I'm gonna say that shot. Let me get my headlight. I got a range finder right here. This is what I was using for a range finder. Uh, it's a team real tree. Uh, just got power and mode. There goes a helicopter or airplane one over. Probably wondering what I'm down here doing shining at them. Says that was 85 yards we just shot. We got our dash looks like a Christmas tree.
we go. Well, y'all wanted something for your Predator Light. I think your Predator Light is a success. If I can get the shadows out of the camera. Oh. So y'all go check out this company if you want your light like that. Oh. It, we, we had a good, just bringing home Predators. Oh. Let's take another look at it right here. It is the KL52 Plus Zoomable Long Range Flashlight from Ode Pro. Hey. Hey, let's get them a good thumbnail. I think that's what they wanted to see right there. Well, thank y'all for watching Spirit of the Outdoors again. Uh, another episode of Predator Hunting. We're going to do a couple of these. Um, this is a dandy little light, y'all. Uh, so go check them out. Uh, I mean, you can see this thing right here. You can, And I, we can stay out here tonight and shoot no telling what and make an hour and a half long video. And I'd enjoy every minute of it, but some of y'all would get sick of watching it. So what, I'll uh, try to do some scouting, come up with some better setup, and we'll see if we can shoot like a bobcat or a coyote or something like that in a video here pretty quick. Uh, i tell you what I got on my mind. Wild hogs, hey, this thing right here be bad news slipping around down there around that swamp where I know there may be some wild hogs. And uh, we can put it on the AR-15. I, I, hey, you! this thing, the way it mounts on this scope right there, you put it on any rifle you got. Hey, we'll put it on a 7mm 08, whatever. Uh, so thank y'all for watching. We'll see you next time. Go check out one of these lights. Get you one. You get a discount if you go through the link in my description. Uh, so go check them out. We'll see y'all next time.